in this video i explain buoyancy and center of buoyancy so first we understand what is the buoyancy when body is immersed in a fluid so in this diagram here we see there is a different bodies are there so first body is the boat or ship second here we see that is the number of phase are there and third body is the submarines so these are the different body which is immersed in a fluid fluid means it may be liquid or a gas here we see that this is the water so when body is immersed in a fluid a upper force exerted by the fluid on the body so here we see this boat or ship is the one body and it have a certain weight so due to its weight and on this weight some gravitational force is acting and due to the gravity pulling the weight of the boat means due to weight the boat is trying to move in a downward directions but this fluid is apply certain upper force so here we see that this is the upper force okay so this upper force is acting on this pool areas of the boat so this upper force is called as the force of buoyancy or simply a buoyancy or it is also called as the buoyant force and it is denoted by as the fb okay so f means force and b means buoyant or buoyancy now here we need to note that the buoyancy force is equal to weight of the fluid displaced by the body means both are equal this buoyancy force as well as the weight both are equal in a definitions of buoyancy now here we see this is the one object this is the first one beaker are there in this beaker we fill some waters and on the water we put some object okay this object may be different types suppose it may be plastic it may be woods it may be rubbers or a cast iron blocks so every object have some density okay so depending on the density the object may be immersed on the fluids it may be in a sinking level means it is sink inside the water levels so it is also depend on the density on the basis of density there is a three concepts are there now here we see this image this is a one fluid and fluid have a density rho f okay so here three different types of object or body is taken first object which have density is less than the density of the fluids means this object have a less density than the fluid density then it is floating on the water or a fluids when the density of the object as well as the density of the fluid is same then it is the suspended body means it is same inside the waters and when the density of the object is greater than the density of the fluids then it is called as the sinking body so we know that it is a cast iron or metal block are there then it is sinking inside the fluids okay because its density are higher than the fluid density we know that the wood and plastics or some other materials like as the thermocouples are floating on the body because it's have a lesser density than the fluids okay so depending on the density here we can categorize the buoyancy may be positive buoyancy so here we see that the positive buoyancy so it apply some gravity force object have certain weights so due to that its gravity is second here we see it is the call as the neutral buoyancy so when the neutral buoyancy are done then it is swimming inside the waters and when the object weight is the higher than the buoyancy force then it is sinking or it is the sink inside the water level then it is called as the negative buoyancy so here we understand this definition of buoyancy now this buoyancy force is acting on the certain point it is called as the center of buoyancy so here we understand what is center of buoyancy so it is defined as the point through which the force of buoyancy is supposed to be act so earlier what we understand buoyancy or a force of buoyancy so this buoyancy force is acting on one particular point of the any object or body then it is called as the center of buoyancy now here we see that the one person is swimming inside the water okay so here the two points are mentioned one point is the center of gravity in short it is denoted as the cg so what is the center of gravity center of gravity means it is the theoretical point 
at which the weight of the body is concentrated so in a human body at the navel navel means at the nabi our body weight is the concentrated okay so here suppose nabi is there at this point okay so at this point our body weight is located when we seem the fluid is applied some buoyancy force in a upper directions okay so this buoyancy force is acting on the full body but we can concentrate this buoyancy force on the one point and this point is called as the center of buoyancy now these two point in this image we see that the cg at its different point and buoyancy force at the different points okay means the here we see the buoyancy force in a upper than the cg points so in a some cases the cg and buoyancy force are also same when it is same so here we mention that the force of buoyancy is a vertical force and is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the body then the center of buoyancy will be the center of gravity of the fluid displaced means center of gravity and the buoyancy force at the same place when the fb buoyancy force and the water displaced by the body both are same then it is located at the same points so that is a different three categories are there buoyancy force is above the cg point at the same points or it may be below to the cg points so we can discuss this theory in the detail in a condition for a buoyancy force in next to next video so here in this video we study about the buoyancy and center of buoyancy so in simple what is buoyancy that is a vertical force applied by the fluids on the body it is called as the buoyancy force and this buoyancy force is concentrated at the one point it is called as the center of buoyancy so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to fluid mechanics and other subject of the mechanical engineering for fluid mechanics various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other video i request to visit the playlist